Even back in 1959, when it first became the government, my colleagues in the cabinet and I could foresee a time when China would become a huge economic power. The size of the country, the size of the people, the quality of the civilization, and the ability of the people. We are descendants of <laughs> landless peasants. My great grandfather came from Tapu because it was no future there. He made a small fortune, he went back. His wife did not want to go back with him, so that's why I'm here. My relatives in Tapu has given me my family tree. Ordinary people. Six generations up, there was a military secretary in Guangxi. That's the only illustrious person. I think he was a Qin Shi, but he didn't get into Beijing. Out of this background, we are able to do so many things. And China has 1,300 million people, poets, writers, scholars, artists, choreographers, dancers. You watch the Beijing Olympics opening. In one hour, Chang Yimo with his team projected to the world 5,000 years of Chinese scholarship and achievements presented in a succinct way using mass dancers, mass Tai Chi performances and so on. I was there sweating like mad in August. <laughs> I was watching the reaction of the foreign leaders and I knew that they knew this was a country that's going to rise. 30 years since they opened up. Deng Xiaoping opened up in 1978 after he came to Singapore and saw how we used capitalist companies to bring about progress in our society. He opened up special economic zones. Little Singapore acted as a catalyst because he visited us, saw it, and in 1992, in his southern tours in Nanshin, he said, study Singapore and do better than them. And they are. We green the island, the Beijing Olympics, from the airport to the stadium to the city center, a mass of green. 40 million flower pots. You just consider. 40 million flower pots, all flowering at the same time. <laughs> you know how difficult it is every Chinese New Year, our floral gardens, to get the flowers bloom up at the same time. Here, 40 million flower pots blooming at the same time. But so many farmers with green fingers. <laughs> what do we have? We are flowering bushes, so you don't have to change them. So you get, so you get laborers from Bangladesh, India, <laughs> whatever, and they trim it. And then the flowers come out when the season comes on. But they change flowers. Lilies, gladiolus, roses. Putung Airport to Putung. It's greener than Singapore. They watched us. They sent teams to study us. They said, ah, not so difficult. I got more manpower. I'll do it. <laughs>